Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Once again, I'm going to take a look at another liquid CPU cooler. This time at the Cooler Master Nepton 240M. Not Neptune, we're talking of Nepton. Basically the fat brother of Neptune that weighs tons and does a better job at cooling than Neptune does. Just kidding. I think I don't have to tell you this is a high-end product with focus on silence. Cooler Master proudly stands behind their product with a 5-year warranty, so you're definitely getting quality here. However, this Nepton 240M costs a little less than most other all-in-one liquid coolers, with a current price of about 100 US dollars at the time of this video. Of course, that's also depending on where you buy it from. But do we have to expect lower cooling performance as well? We'll find out. Thanks a lot to Cooler Master for sending me this interesting liquid CPU cooler to review. In the box, of course, is the closed loop liquid cooler itself, the two included 120mm PWM fans, then a bag with all the needed mounting backplate screws, and so on. Cooler Master also includes a rubber gasket, which I'll show you a bit later to reduce vibration of the fans, and as you'd expect from Cooler Master, a tube of thermal paste is also included. Last but not least, there's the warrant information and the user's guide. Let's focus on the radiator for a second. It seems to be a pretty standard 240mm aluminum radiator with the following dimensions. 274 by 119 by 27 mm Nothing too special here, but the radiator is not all it counts actually. What I think is a nice little touch in design is this label on here, on both sides, that says Nepton 240M, although you probably won't see that in the case anyways. The tubing Cooler Master is using for this liquid cooler is very special. This actually is thick FEP tubing with a large diameter. FEP stands for fluorinated ethylene propylene by the way. This probably is one of the best and most durable tubing there can be when it comes to AIO liquid coolers. According to Cooler Master, this FEP tubing should apparently lower the coolant's evaporation rate, should allow for better liquid flow and should provide excellent kink resistance. The tubing feels kinda soft, very flexible but robust at the same time. More manufacturers should adapt this kind of tubing in my opinion. The swivel fittings on a pump are very well made, but unfortunately the word swivel doesn't seem to fit here. These fittings can't be moved around, they just remain in that 190 degree position and that's all. Yes, this lowers the risks of leakiness, but that risk would have been super low anyways. So that's the first negative point here, at least the way I'm judging. I had no problems with that with the installation of this cooler into my system though, so it's not all that bad. The pump unit design is kept very minimalistic and that's something I usually like, but this pump has some kind of a hump and that's something I don't really like. But then again, we're talking about the looks here, that's a thing of preference anyways and says absolutely nothing about the performance. The Cooler Master logo in the middle lights up white. The pump unit itself is built by Cooler Master themselves and should output only very little noise and should also have a long lifespan. You power the pump up with the 4-pin cable, nylon braided by the way. On the bottom we get to see a nice large copper base, finally without any reapplied thermal paste. To be honest, I've always cleaned it off before and applied my own one when it came to CPU coolers. This Nepton 240M, as you'd expect, is compatible with pretty much every socket you think you would buy this cooler for. Intel LGA 2011, 1150, 1151, 1155, 1156, 1366, 775. AMD AM3+, plus, AM3, AM2+, plus, AM2, FM2+, plus, FM2, and FM1. Cooler Master includes two of their high-quality Silencio FP 120 PWM 120mm fans. As Silencio is already telling us, these are meant to be silent with fan speeds of 800 to 2400 RPM. According to Cooler Master, these fans should have an airflow of about 16.5 to 76 CFM. As for the noise level, 6.5 to 27 decibels at max, which is extremely quiet. These fans are really well made, I can tell. The loop dynamic bearing is the type Cooler Master decided to go for. For short, that's LDB. We'll soon find out how quiet this liquid CPU cooler is altogether, but first, this is how it looks fully assembled with the fans attached to the radiator. 
I have to say the cooler looks very good and I like the idea of the rubber gasket that Cooler Master has included to put in between the radiator and the fans to reduce vibrations to make the cooler even quieter. Also, all the mounting brackets and backplates are out of metal and the installation is fast and well thought out. Nothing to complain here. Now this is how this Neptun 240M looks like in my system with that mighty MSI Z97 X-Power AC motherboard in combination with MSI's GTX 770 Lightning. Keeping the fans and cooler completely in black probably is the best idea to match most color schemes in enthusiast systems, since black isn't exactly a color that pops into your eyes immediately. Now as always let's overclock my Intel i7-4770K to 4.3GHz with much more voltage that's actually needed to get it to my high benchmarking temperature to check the cooling performance of this Neptun 240M. Right there you have it. As you saw yourself, the Cooler Master Neptun 240M performed a bit worse than the powerful H105 from Corsair or Deepcool's Captain 360. Still, this Neptun 240M is about as good as Deepcool's Maelstrom 240, a little bit better maybe, but I was shocked in a good way once I turned my PC on. The Neptun 240M is extremely quiet. Honestly, I've never came across such a silent cooler so far, be it air or water cooler. You know, there's always that balance between performance and noise level. Cooler Master obviously decided to make this cooler as silent as possible and their Silencio fans really help a lot with that. Even at full fan speeds, the fans don't sound like a vacuum cleaner unlike many other fans I've tested on coolers so far. But it's not just the fans, the pump is very quiet too. Therefore, all in all, a bit cooling performance just has to be sacrificed. That can't be avoided, but it's fine. It's definitely still a high-end CPU cooler, and besides, it's even a little bit cheaper than the competition. The installation of that cooler didn't lead to any problems whatsoever. Everything's kept simple and straightforward. In terms of aesthetics, not bad looking at all, especially the radiator part with the fans. The pump, once again, not really my taste in terms of design, because of the pump, but it looks fine. Many people like that kind of design, and many don't care about looks at all. Something I personally didn't like so much is that you can't actually move the tubing around on the pump, but then again, that doesn't lead to any problems. The fact is that this Neptun 240M has very good performance to offer while remaining as silent as possible. So if you're someone that cares a lot about silence in your system, this liquid CPU cooler might be the best choice you can make at the time of this video. The price performance ratio is good, fair pricing indeed. I'd definitely recommend the Cooler Master Neptun 240M liquid cooler. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.